Avatar The Last Airbender reactions are 10 episodes ahead on our Patreon and in full length. Welcome back to, to the, the Cruise Brothers, Brothers. Re -re React. Re -re yeah, re -re 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 React. That's Johnny. And I'm Chris. And we're here for the season finale of Avatar. Again, these shirts are in the description. Sorry, shameless plug. Uh, yeah, season finale of the first season. And as everyone's always said in the comments, this is only the beginning. Season two and season three are probably the less feeling episodic. I am episodes. excited about it. Yeah. I heard a lot of good things. And this is a finale, so uh, Honestly, there better be some good things here, too. I don't want to hype up season two and season three because I don't remember a lot. But I know it's le more, it's less episodic than this first season. So, is it good to the point where we ain't getting no filler? Shut or... up, bro, what the filler? <laughs> oh, bro, Zuko took Aang. He over, literally took bro. Aang, Fire bro. Nation is the winner. That's <laughs> Zuko it. took Aang. He literally left with him. Yeah, all right. Let's see what happens, man. We don't know Aang's what the fuck's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, let's just hop right into it, guys. Season finale. He's let's gonna, see if they can... Uh, he's probably... His, um, why do I keep calling his grandpa? Oh, motherfucker, I'm Gyro. Because um, he's old. Uh, he's going to um, probably pick them up in a ship somewhere. A Who ship? Knows? Yeah. Who? Zuko? No, Iro. Maybe they have a plan or something to get him out of there. And he maybe he will finally take the Avatar back to the Fire Nation and redeem himself in front of his father. Bro, where he was going, it didn't seem like there was no seat. So, uh, yeah, anyways, they let's jump right into think they don't got a plan zuko had a plan iroh didn't have a plan here like, okay so what the fuck he was literally crying bro he iroh was not expecting to see see zuko again damn just left momo's ass behind oh now look there's no see here dang yo it's all terrain no snow they're gonna catch you real quick here on foot in the snow. There's no way. Bro. They got Abba. Hey, when are they not supposed to be moving this kid? What happens now that they moved them? I don't know. Oh shit. Is that one of the avatars? Hello? I'm sorry to disturb you. I just really need to find the moon in the ocean. The original avatar. Oh yeah, he's looking for the spirits. Oh wait. Uh -huh. You're still here. Yes, I need. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you put that out? You knew that was gonna happen. No. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> That's stupid. Yeah. In the face dealer. Oh. When you speak with him, you must be very careful to show no emotion at all, not the slightest expression. What the hell? He will steal. Yeah, yeah, that's that sounds like a fucking shit, horror man. movie, bro. Straight out of a horror movie. <laughs> they got that's, some scary stuff in this shit. I mean, man, scary. I don't even look at them. <laughs> My daughter's her. Mm. Oh, she, she was born lucky. He says I was lucky to be born. Damn. Damn, they hit. I don't need luck, though. Hit that I one. I don't want it. I've always had to struggle and fight, but that's made me strong. It's made me who I am. This kid is venting to Aang without him realizing it. So we got some backstory on his sister, which is the girl probably in the flashback that was with him. Prodigy. Oh my god. Yeah, the Fire Nation has the most high-tech military shit. Yeah, bro, they have any funded. <laughs> They got tanks, they got like war warhogs. I don't need to remind you, we have a time limit. If we don't defeat the water tribe before the full moon rises, they will be undefeatable. I assure you, I have everything under control. I intend to remove the moon as a factor. What? Remove the moon? How? You about the special beam cannon, that shit. <laughs> Prepare to meet your fate. Oh, oh my it. god, yeah. <laughs> What an Years idiot. Ago, I stumbled upon a great and powerful city. Bro, how acid this guy's defense is that that kid was able to just walk in there and try to kill him. <laughs> you know what I was, right? Yeah, I know. That shit was random. I discovered a hidden library underground, in fact. I tore through scroll after scroll. 
One of them contained a detailed illustration and the words moon and ocean, a car world. And now they will face the consequences. Interesting. So Iroh was in the spirit world. That's why you saw Roku's dragon in that one episode when it was flying by. But hang on it. And he plans to kill the, the moon spirit. Oh my god, yo. <laughs> yo, this kid is shit. Shit and bricks. Bro, he took that monkey's face. Exactly. You saw how fast he tried to compose himself? Oh, it was something about stealing the face of someone you loved. Who is that? <laughs> oh my god. That's all the guy does. Like he can't remember Watch that. That's someone else's. That's another avatar's. After all, you're a different person now. You've come yeah. to me with a new face. <laughs> oh man, that is some scary, scary ass yeah, shit, yeah. Moon and ocean. Does he spirit too? Circled each other all the eternal dance. Moon and ocean. Each other. Push and pull. Life and death, good and evil. Yo, this motherfucker's voice is creeping me out. Yo, like, I, sort of, I feel like I'm watching a horror movie. Yeah, that's the what it was. Fish. Yeah. It was the fish. <laughs> Yo, he almost took his face, bro. He heard his voice. He was late. He's like, the car fish. <laughs> Yo. That's hilarious. Hey, it's the panda. He's back. <laughs> you said it was a filler episode. Nah, man, you gotta make friends. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I told you, bro. There's no filler. You gotta make friends out here, bro. <laughs> Come on. Obviously, they give filler characters cameos here and there. <laughs> oh, we're going fishing. Yeah, he's trying to kill the moon spirit, the fish. Yeah. This panda, panda is, is Joe. <laughs> On the world. Yeah, he has the power to send motherfuckers. <laughs> you went into his other four. That's, That's funny. Bad, yeah. funny. <laughs> and, uh, don't mess with that panda's Yo, friend, man. For real. Damn, he doesn't have his body. Now he has to go look for it. That's why you're not supposed to move his body. Yeah, look at him. Look at his spirit. That's gotta be Eric. Yep, yep. It's like a homing missile. Hey, oh, this ain't gonna exactly be good. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Welcome back. Push the feedback. Damn, already. Damn, smacked his ass up against the wall. Wait, we can't just leave him here. Sure, we can. Let's go. <laughs> no, if we leave him, he'll die. Yeah. It's so funny how fast he got scraped. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Let's bring the guy who's constantly trying to kill us. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's too late. Did he put it in the bag? Oh my god. That shit happened quick as hell. Damn. As soon That's as mad scary, it. bro. Imagine taking a fish out of the thing, the moon just For disappears. <laughs> oh shit. No more. Damn, it all like completely now? I thought they would still be able to waterbend a I little bit. I don't know. Damn, this is... Damn, these guys got a big ass flaw. I feel it's like evil, bro. I feel it too. This being the pond. My dark hair turned white. Ah. I opened my eyes and began to cry. And they knew I would live. Yeah, that's a miracle. That's why my mother named me you. Yo. She has god powers in her, bro. Interesting. A legend now. Yo, he's the Fire a Nation legend. for generations tells stories about the great Zhao who darkened the moon. Jesus Christ, that's they scary. Call me Zhao the Conqueror. Zhao the Moon Slayer. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Get it off. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking music, yeah. Here we Holy go. Shit. Oh, this is the main fight. 
This is the fight for the war here. Don't bother. Oh. Yeah. Kill the world. He is right now, General Iro. Yo, Iro. Surprised to discover oh, the treasure. I'm not playing it down. The Pioneer Nation needs the moon too. We all depend on the balance. Whatever you do to that spirit, even Iro's teaming up with them. Oh. Oh. Yo, did not get Uncle Iro freaking mad. Yo. Yo, he ain't gonna disrespect Iro like that, bro. D Yo, Iro is. <laughs> oh no! Oh hell no! You got no respect for Iro. <laughs> we <laughs> lost. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, shit is getting holy wild. Shit. <laughs> he pissed. Yo, look, he's like, holy shit. It's like, what did I Yo, do? Yo, Iro's pissed. They know healing powers. Oh. oh. What the fuck? Oh shit. There's some, a lot of shit going on right now. What do they call this state of Aang's? The Avatar state. Pretty sure that's what it is. Oh shit, he's in his Avatar state. It's resurrection time. Oh. Yo. This shit is getting on another level. What the hell? Aang? Where's Aang? He's become one with water, man. He's mastered water. Yo, that's... What the Holy fuck? shit, that's the mastered fucking Avatar water state. <laughs> this is a water god! Look at the fire back. <laughs> this got scraped. Yo, that's a water god. He pissed off the wrong water god. Damn, bro. I didn't think this shit. Yo, this shit's getting dark. <laughs> this is the tea. This is the taste, bro. Yeah, you don't know. Shit. Yo, I think this is the taste, bro. Now I remember this water spirit thing. I, I still, I don't think we ever got an explanation for it though. I'm not sure. What do you mean this thing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think bro, there's an explanation this, to what this is. Bro, it's the a water the avatar, bro. He came out to play, motherfucker. <laughs> what the hell? Look, he literally wiped out everyone. That's pretty much what it is, bro. I'll always be with you. Damn, that's that's kind of sad, bro. That's fucked up. Sokka just made a girlfriend and she dies and becomes a fish spirit. <laughs> I'll be mad as fucking sad. I mean, it's more sad that she's... Has to live her life like that now. Exactly. Talk about to come visit her every now and then. <laughs> God, why are you? Yeah, the moon's back. He's reverting. He's still battling. The fight ain't he took over. Out the whole fleet, though. Yo, Zuko. Zuko came to play today. What a, what a failure this guy was. Holy shit. Come on. Yo. Now you're going to go down to history as the fucking fire general who got captured by the water tribe. Man, that's it. This is your fate. Oh, he didn't even want it. That's messed what? up. <laughs> what an idiot. Fucking pride, man. Is Aang even still controlling that thing? No, that was something else, I think. Damn, bro. They just... Come here. They just went through some crazy shit, bro. Damn, bro. That shit was crazy. The whole freaking water experience was not a letdown. These motherfuckers. Oh. Your brother Zuko is a failure. I have a task for you. This bitch. Come on, man. Why you always got to say that? Come on, look at her. Do you have no respect? Just look at her. Does stupid. that she's look like she looks nasty and she looks like she's a prodigy and she looks like she'll whoop your ass? Who's the bitch now? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, alright, so there it is, guys. The season finale. Avatar book one. That's it, Chris. What did you think? <laughs> That's pretty good, bro. I like it a lot. <laughs>
That's why people, uh, people have been saying in the comments, they like, they're like, oh, I love watching people see this for the first time and thinking it's just like a normal cartoon and shit switches up mad quick. It's like, and it then get, they make you believe serious. it's kind of like a normal cartoon for the most part. Like you get some things here and there, but yeah. like obviously if someone would have freaking, um, two pair of eyeballs can see that this shit is hot, but you know. Some people might get bored on the some of the episodes and they might just quit, you know? They'll be like, man, fuck this, fuck this show. <laughs> yeah. If you don't stick it through, man, you don't get the good juicy shit. It's just crazy to me. Like, this is a, a show on Nickelodeon. Like, how ambitious were the writers to make a cartoon that actually fucking got some depth to it? Because, you know, that's not really common. Yeah, honestly, this episode right here was definitely one of, so far for, through the whole season, I felt like this had the most um, like um, emotional scenes and stuff like that. It, um, in in pair with the last episode too, because this was a two part episode, so like, and it, it, it just, had the most like emotional things. Not even it. emotional, but just cool moments happened here. I like the moment with Iro, like, yo, first of all, the the voice actor for Iro is like on point, like he really gets shit. He really, like, he's not a normal voice actor for a cartoon. That's that's the only way I can describe it. Come on, this is an American cartoon. Obviously, all the voice actors are going to be on point. I'm I'm just saying, like, these voice that It's, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but he's, he's just different. Yeah, so. He expressed his shit cool. on point. The show was hot when he fucking threatened this guy and he fucking started whooping his ass. That was the first time I think I seen Iroh actually get mad. Yeah, and, like, for real. Was, he's always calm. That was calm. cool to see. So, um. That was cool. And then, you know, they left us on a little cliffhanger for the next season with uh, this new girl that is in the picture now. They literally just gave us details about her this episode about how she's like this guy's sister. We did see a flashback a long time ago with them both in the flashback, but we didn't know they were they were related. So yeah. that's pretty cool to find out now that they're related and that I she's think, a prodigy. I think I remember you saying, oh, she looks like a character that's going to reoccur. Yeah, because like I said, I didn't see this. I haven't seen this show, but I, I remember recurring characters, and I remember her being a recurring character, but I didn't yeah. know that they were siblings because obviously I haven't seen the show. So pretty cool. Um, she's definitely going to be one of the one of those. Uh, she's going to be the next Zuko, I think, in the next freaking uh, show. I think Zuko's going to the good side, and she's going to be the new antagonist. That's what's going to happen in season two. I mean, yeah, they kind of like uh, hint at that. With, even with how Iroh was kind of siding with Aang there, it kind of did feel like that. Like they're I, not, I, they're the, not really bro, fucking with. Look, they're Zuko. Not, I forgot that vibe from Zuko and and Iroh from the beginning. Like they're, they were the antagonists, right? But they still have a good sense of doing good or like yeah. a good will or whatever. Like, like whatever I, if you, you look at their, you know, moments in this first book. Uh, throughout the entire season, like you notice, there was definitely a lot of moments in there where it showed that they uh, they're not really messing with the Fire Nation like that. Um, yeah, it's mainly Zuko just pretty much trying to uh, redeem himself in his in his own nation. You know, that's his, yeah. what his main goal is. You know, but through all, all these things that are happening, I feel like he's growing as a person. And um, Iroh's there pretty much the whole time to guide him. And we find out the guy Iroh literally loves him as a son because his son is dead. It's fucking crazy, bro. Like, listen to what I'm saying. The storyline of this shit is hot. <laughs> yeah, seriously. When you lay it out there and explain and you're talking all this stuff about mad details, it just makes you think, like, damn, this shit really added up quick with yeah, like, how many details there like, are. <laughs> there was a lot that happened this first season. And, you know, that was definitely a way to get it. you started into this shit because... I don't know, man. Everybody's hyping season two up, and I don't want to hide myself up too much about it. I don't I might get let down, but I, I'm sure once I start seeing episodes, I'll remember it. Um, like there was one hint at a future episode in this episode. I won't tell you though. Okay, okay, man. We don't got to talk about all that. I remember that one, but yeah. But yeah, man, as for as for this finale, guys, stuff. it was definitely a good ass finale. Wanted me, definitely left me wanting more. They gave us a good cliffhanger. Um, and I'm excited for season two. I heard good things about it. Hopefully, it's good. Uh, season one overall, I say that was definitely a solid season and a very good season. It got me definitely invested into all these characters. Like you know when you're all, watching, a, yeah. you know when you're watching a good show when you just know everybody's name. You know, come on now. Like, I name everyone right now. What are you talking about? Who? In main cast? Main cast. Saka, Katara, Abba, Momo. 
<laughs> Even the <Hank>. animals. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I know everybody. I don't want to do this to you right now because I don't want to <laughs> fucking embarrass you on your own channel. Yeah, but <laughs> My own channel? I'm your channel too, bitch. Anyway, guys. Say your channel? Okay. Come on, man. Johnny reacts time. Just hurry up, man. This, this, we've been <laughs> rambling on long enough. Here. All right, li listen. It was a good season finale. Obviously, Chris doesn't know what he's getting himself into. Obviously, he thinks it's... Th he just doesn't know, bro. So, we're going to teach him. He's going to learn. And uh, we'll see you... For the next season of Avatar The Last Airbender, guys, stay tuned. It's coming. Um, pause. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to show your support. And uh, you could also pledge $1 to our Patreon to get access to these reactions earlier than the YouTube and in full length. We'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves as always. And, and peace. peace.